Welcome back once again, people, to the JUI brand vlog. If this is your first time checking this out, thank you for checking me out. Uh, some of you guys know that I did this a while ago, and I'm back doing it. So uh, let's see how we get into this, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be covering some science. I'm going to be covering some video games. I'm going to be covering all different types of stuff like on this vlog. So for those who don't know what I really do, let's go ahead and uh, get into it. This week on Interwebs, I came across a story about the researchers at the University of Houston who created a device that allows people who have prosthetic limbs to control said prosthetic limbs through a thinking cap. The words of this thinking cap have been able to control their prosthetic limbs with an 80% success rate. The researchers have pretty much said this non-invasive method is a lot better than surgically implanting electrodes that could be connected to the patient's brain or, more importantly, their nerves. With a success rate of nearly 80% right now, it's only a matter of time where you have non-noticeable thinking caps and nearly 100% range of motion in those prosthetic limbs. Next article of business is actually about an exoskeleton that doesn't require a power source and it increases your efficiency of walking 7%. A couple of things to note about this device, even though it does allow you to actually walk better, it doesn't give the ability to people who are unable to stand on their own, it doesn't help them in too much of a way. But that is something that could they could explore down the line and that's something that they are looking into. But right now, this is in prototype phase and we wanna see where it goes from here because this seems like a really cool idea and it seems like for people who are older, this is gonna be something that is going to be very beneficial to them when they're hiking or walking or doing whatever so yeah definitely something to keep a high on and check out one of my last orders of business is about a company in Britain that is working on what pretty much amounts to hard light technology what they're using is low frequency ultrasound that can target certain points on your finger to make you feel that touching sensation when they focus those complex patterns of ultrasound to a specifically designed pad you can touch and feel and pretty much mold those 3D shapes. This is one of those devices that's still in prototype phase, but it is pretty awesome to see where this technology is going because it's pretty much hard light technology, which means it's pretty much the holodeck, which means in a couple of years, 10, 15 years, who knows, we could have something possibly out on the market that would be borderline incredible. Actually, not even borderline incredible, just incredible. You know what also was incredible is that you're still watching this video and I appreciate that because it means a lot to me. So I'm about to get out of here. I wanted to leave you with a question of the week because I'm going to start doing these again. So let me hit you with this question right here. It kind of goes like this. You've died and you're going to hell. You only pick one game to play for all of the rest of eternity. You can only play that one game. What game do you pick and why? And that's pretty much all the time that I got today. I do thank you for checking out the JUI brand vlog. Once again, I am back. I'm trying to be back. I'm trying to be more consistent. Um, this is a big experience for me because I've been planning this and plotting this for a while. So uh, pardon my dust and all that other stuff. If you are watching this on the original JUI brand channel, click this link in the description or probably right here. Um, you know what I'm saying? And you should be able to go to the channel that I'm going to have these vlogs on for a while. And I'm going to be kind of uploading more videos and a lot of other stuff trying to consolidate everything. So that's that. All my social media contacts are in the description below, as well as the stories that I covered. You can check them out. You can pretty much send me any type of comments, concerns, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Welcome me back. Pardon the dust. This is going to get a lot better. Uh, what do you think of the new interface and all that? And oh yeah, I forgot all about this. So, you know, yeah. But anything else that you want to see me go ahead and cover, man, send me a link, send me a note, man. I try to put it on the show, man. You know what I'm saying? So got a lot of stuff going on. Anyway, I'm pretty much rambling. I'm about to get out of here. So you know it wouldn't be the same if I didn't do this, right?